Hello lovely people. I've been intending to make a video for a long time and it has been an incredibly long time since I've made any posts. Uh, for those of you that know me, who follow me on Facebook, you'll know that I've been through a huge time with my partner Ron, who has had major heart bypass surgery which was very unexpected and I've been with him since the evening before the surgery so he's been recuperating now for a couple of weeks he's been home and making great progress I'm delighted to say and how that has impacted on him and on me and everything really has been an amazing journey. And so everything else has had to just be let go of. And this is so key, you know, at a time of crisis. I know a lot of people are going through crisis at the moment. They're going through very challenging times. And just to say, you know, send you lots of love with that. I just feel so emotional today. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a very emotional time for me for several weeks now of just having to go with the unexpected in a place that I'm not familiar with. I can't drive here. Legally, I could have chosen not to because I just didn't feel like I was confident enough to do that on top of everything else. So it's really shown me where I am and how strong I am on, on the inside and places where I still need to work on myself to be in my centre more. And this, this is what I always talk about in my work. This is my life's work. This is, you know, the spiritual path is to redefine ourselves now. And key to the Mayan calendar, key to the astrology, and of course, key to the emotional healing work that I do, that I'm passionate about sharing around healing the heart. And I love being here in Encinitas, the weather, the vibration, the potentiality, the primordial energy on the land, how it makes me feel, has been so nurturing and lovely. And just want to say such a big thank you for all your support at this time, all the lovely messages. I know I haven't been out there a lot, but I've just been focusing on some very practical stuff, which is Uranus and Taurus, of course, the new cycle that we're in. It's all practical, grounded stuff. And today we've got Moon in Pisces, and that's a big part of my chart. So all my sensitive feelings are, are coming up. Mainly a lot of stuff that I've pushed down to, to cope with the huge journey that we've both been on, Ron and I. And Ron ha has, you know, been through this amazing physical journey of literally having to surrender his life to the people and be with a lot of pain, face a lot of things about himself that have changed. And I think, again, as we get older in our lives, you know, this is, this is one of the key things that we have, the gateways that we have to go through. So if we're lucky enough to live on this earth for several laps around the Saturnian wheel, then hopefully we can learn from that experience and become wiser. And if this is such a key time for human beings now to really start to focus consciously on what that really means and to do the process, to become the process, 
to become an enlightened being by healing the shadow and all that we are really not. But that our ego often thinks that's who we are. So today in the mind calendar, we are on Red Solar Moon Day. Happy Mayan Day, Roger. Back in Glastonbury. It's a key gateway day today. So we started a brand new cycle nine days ago. So I've made some notes on this. Okay, so we started the cycle on the 13th of July. And this was in Cancer Sun time. So this whole spiral is going to be about that energy and on the planet this is where the north node is in cancer and the south node in capricorn so to use a very general term this is about all our mother and father issues this is about cancer being the, the summer solstice capricorn being the winter solstice and as this cycle came in we had a full moon in capricorn and a lunar eclipse within four days of it starting and the fourth day being yellow self-existing seed. So in order to be self-existing, to be free of our conditioned mask that we've created to survive as human beings over millennia, as an individual in this lifetime in particular, how we have crafted ways to cope with often very sick society way of living now on the planet. So this really highlighted on that day, on the 16th of July, with this full moon, you know, whatever was happening for you then, showed you how much of a self-existing starseed you were rather than a codependent one. Most people are still working through codependent issues of power struggles and needing people or substances or things to help them feel joy and love when actually that is a natural state of being that many of us often have forgotten what on earth that means now because we've been so conditioned to think that we have to have stuff or do stuff or you know in order to feel it but actually it's Another perspective is to focus on what we need to let go of that is getting in the way of us feeling joy and love naturally because we live in a Garden of Eden on this planet. And to get back to our true nature, to get back to nature is the key. Today we have this major gateway which again we've still got the sun in cancer we're in the last few days of it now because we're going into leo on the 23rd and we've been going mercury retrograde going back over old ground around our high self our god self our mercury self and i believe it's a kazemi moment uh today around where mercury is very very close to the sun I have Mercury retrograde in Leo, so this has been really strong for me. This is where knowing what you've got going on in your chart can really help you. And so my offering to you is just really start to get to know what your codes are and how the planetary and universal code is really affecting you. And this can help shed a lot of light on why you're experiencing what you are and what you're going through. So we're going over old ground, we're going backwards around heart issues. Mercury, I think, has just gone into cancer. So again, we're going back into our mothering, our nurturing at this time of year. And the Capricorn flip side, the south node, with we've also got Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn. It's, Lots of planetary stuff going on at the moment that is really, really challenging and difficult to get us to pay attention, to be disciplined in what we need to let go of so we can let go of these old patterns, our ancestral patterning and the patriarchy distortion on the planet 
which is so far away from our true state of being as human beings, who we really are. It's getting back to remembering who we really are. So today, red moon is, the planet is Mercury. And anybody who does any sort of spiritual practice, who does meditation, who believes in a divine being consciousness, whatever that is for you, that is bigger than the individual and that we are all part of, that we're all connected. And so by becoming clear of our wounding as human beings, we can embody more of this divine consciousness and become free of suffering around these base issues. And so red moon is a really key planetary energy. And we've been going through a 13 year cycle of red moon that began in July, 2006, and is now starting to wind up. So we've literally got four more days left. Yep, four more days left before we start a brand new cycle of the moon goddess which is a bit of a misnomer, white wizard. So we're going to start a 13 year cycle of white wizard. The planet there is the asteroid belt, bringing a new consciousness and letting the magic flow through us rather than thinking that we have to create it. So again, a lot of this ancient wisdom is, is around letting go and unlearning to allow new learning to be embodied. And it is mind blowing. It's tricky a lot of the time because most of the planet are not operating from that viewpoint at all. And so it is really around having faith and keep focusing on oneself to notice where we don't feel grounded, notice where we're not centered, notice where we've got big emotional triggers going on. And then this just shows us the past story. There is a framework to use that I've been using since 2007, Emotional Freedom Technique, and it works and there's a whole science that goes behind it. This is really cutting edge stuff. This is quantum stuff. When you link it in with the cosmology, when you understand your cosmic codes, when you understand what's going on with Uranus, which is evolutionary astrology, and you start to map patterns and see them in your own family, it does blow your mind and it really does help understand the process. It doesn't make it easier a lot of the time because we have to go through it, but it does help us to go through it because go through it, we have to do. It's a time of massive change now. So in these last few days, it is really intense because we're literally wrapping up a 13 year cycle. And so anything that is meant to go, is going to go. <laughs> and no matter how we try and control it or manipulate it or hold on to it, it has to go now so that we can align. This is a time of aligning with great change. We've got a new moon in Leo coming up and that um, is on the 31st of July in California, I think it's on the 1st of August in the UK. Lamas time in the Pagan Wheel, the time of harvest. So one thing that I know for sure, absolutely for sure, in my experiential learning is that we repeat patterns and we repeat our family patterns and that is how we evolve the human being on this planet through each one of us going over old ground and again if you are doing this sort of work and you're working with family constellations and you're seeing your own patterns and seeing 
how you are literally repeating, like for me, you know, my dad had the same operation that Ron has had when he was 64. What that allows to happen for me is Ron obviously is not my dad and he has a very different consciousness. He has a very different way of being. He comes from a different part of the world and he's been doing a spiritual practice for 35 years. So the pattern is different. The code is different. But what it allows for me to see is how it was for my mum and dad in some ways. And it gives me a, a greater depth of understanding of my mum and my dad and how that has affected all of our family. And this constant new learning and this, you know, acceptance of what is and seeing how the mind often is not wanting to accept it for whatever reason and then just really working through that showing wherever we've got resistance wherever we've got triggers this is old story and often comes from a very misunderstood space a very wounded space so Again, just revisiting old ground, letting go, grieving. And then seeing how I change my perception about things and people and come into a different space and a state of grace a lot more and more. And so I become calmer. I become more at peace with myself and I become very different in my relationship with other people because of that. What is this new 13 year cycle going to bring for us? Well, the key thing it is going to be very much around embodiment. That's what it's going to be showing us is who we really are in terms of our learning and our beliefs and our inner world rather than who we think we are which is an intellectual concept often an abstract um, delusional illusional we're, we're really starting to see that and again for me it's been like this this whole questioning process of who am i where am i living what am i going to be doing my family, you know, just massive changes around that. And a lot of the time in the past, I've been quite sure about things, but at the moment it's like, I don't have that sense of knowing at the moment, but I still feel okay most of the time about where I am and how I am. I do feel very blessed to be here and be supported. And again, it is recognizing that I always have been, even though I've been through really challenging times. I think what I struggle with is how my life is now compared to my life as a child. I was very, very lucky as a child. I was very supported. I was very loved. I felt loved. I had amazing advantages in my life and I didn't realize that, you know, at the time. And it's only now through the work that I do, you know, work as a therapist and I get to hear many different stories and experiences and again, my whole life learning and traveling and as I've got older and learned more about human history and I realized just how amazingly wonderful on the most part my childhood was compared to many human beings on the planet. So my passion really is about sharing this information and I'm going to be starting to post some videos now because I've got more time to do that and more space to do that and Ron and I coming out the other side and everything's starting to open up more now and 
come into a you know healthier space and really helping us to look at what it is we, we want from life i think when you go through near death situations it does really help clarify your thoughts and get you to look at what you want to do with the rest of your life so this is a really good time to take stock in these next few days and start to work with the 260 day cycle is really going to be about how do I nurture myself how do I mother myself it was initiated in a waxing moon sorry in a waning moon wasn't it um, in Sagittarius at 14 degrees so again the healer the gateway point it was also initiated in Cosmic Moon Day 17. So that's the 13 moon calendar. So again, in waning moon energy around what needs to be released. This past 13 years that you have been living on planet Earth, where you haven't been living in authenticity, you haven't been being the beacon of light. This is what needs to shift for you so that you can really come into being yourself, your true self, remembering who you are. Because the next 13 years, we're simply going to be refining that process that you've always done. And this is the great thing about it. It's, it's not new in a lot of ways. It's going over old ground and refining that. That's what the next 13 years is about. It's about really coming into our power, what's seeking to come to light, around again Taurus energy can be around anger can be around doing the bullshit basically instead of being honest around where we really are I don't know about you but I found in my life over the past couple of years I've really struggled around my relationships with a lot of people especially people in close proximity to me who doesn't seem to be uh, able to, I haven't seemed to be able to make a harmonious relationship and you know I've tried to communicate how I wanted to have a relationship and that hasn't been heard or honored and uh, you know this is an old old pattern and a lot of the time I'm just there scratching my head around people who don't seem to have true awareness they say that they have you know intellectually they, they talk a good talk but actually their level of empathy and awareness around other people is not there. So they, you know, they seem to be going through some sort of like adolescent lack of empathy and just wanting to do their own thing. And that, you know, with it, with no regard or respect for other people and no, no amount of saying that to them, no amount of rule books, <laughs> or manuals or you know trying to express this you know that that just doesn't seem to work and you know I've come to a place of well what will work you know I don't know I just can't find a solution so yeah I think that that's it for me is I keep trying I'm a person who will always look for a solution and you know, keep trying different things, new learning. I think that is absolutely key now to new learning and, and also being really disciplined and discerning about where you want to be, what you want to be doing and who you want to be doing it with. Otherwise, it just simply is hell on earth, isn't it? You know, if you're around people who, no matter what you do, cannot be in relationship with you in the way that you want that is so disempowering <laughs> and um so i think it, it just is what it is as well it's just if people are like that they're like that that's their own thing and but i don't want to be around people 
who aren't caring or empathetic of other people. And yeah, so that, that's really key for me right now. So I'm going to be doing some videos over the next few days that are more focused than this. This is like a bigger picture overview to, to really highlight what's coming up and how to set really strong intentions now to create a platform for this new cycle that is starting on the 26th of July. So lots of love to you all, whatever you're doing and however life is for you. And once again, thank you so much for all your love and support, me and Ron. Lots of love and uh, see you soon. Bye for now.